Venus Williams made headlines at this week's Australian Open by not only being the oldest competitor to compete, but also competing and finishing a match on a, a sprained right ankle and a, a left knee issue. She's an absolute beast and I wanted to talk to you about her injuries in more detail and discuss how she was impacted by them. For those who don't know me, my name is Sonam and I'm a resident doctor specializing in sports and exercise medicine. On this channel, I break down injuries as they happen so that an average fan can better understand what's going on. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date. For now, let's take a deep dive into Venus Williams' injury. Venus Williams actually started her match against Sarani with a previous left knee injury and subsequently injured her right ankle and it appeared re-injured her left knee during the match. But that woman was insane and actually finished the match completely refusing to give up. So let's start off by looking at the injury that Venus Williams sustained to her right ankle. This is actually gonna go pretty quick. So I want you to take a look at this right ankle and see if you can catch it. It's gonna be that step there. And then just watch how she hops right afterwards. So we know she has a left knee injury and the way she hops to try to favor her right ankle kind of leads me to believe how bad is the left knee injury because she's able to hop on it to protect her right ankle. Now let's go back and actually look at when she injures that ankle. So we're gonna look here, she plants it down and in here you're gonna have a quick inversion injury. So that's when you roll your ankle outwards and you hurt the outside ankle of your, outside part of your ankle. Ankles can do two things. So you can either invert them and fall on your outside aspect of it, so you hurt the outside aspect, or you could evert them and hurt the middle aspect of the knee. To be honest, as a doctor, I see a ton of lateral ankle sprains. This is the most common mechanism that people roll out their ankles. If we look at the anatomy here, so this is the right lower leg, this is the, the foot and the lower tibia and fibula. This is the outside aspect of the ankle. So this is what she stretched if she rolled her ankle in. You can also stretch the inside ankle here. You don't typically roll your ankle outwards as much, so I don't see it as often. And in Venus's case, she rolled her ankle like this. So I'd be concerned about damages to these structures. Now there's a few ligaments in the ankle. When someone says I have an ankle sprain, they actually sprained one or more of their ligaments. It's not just a general area. So you have this ligament right here, and this ligament is called your ATFL. Believe it or not, this is one of the most common ligaments to injure in your ankle. And I can put my finger right in that area. It's kind of right in front of that lateral ankle bone that you'll feel on yourself. And that's the one that prevents the, the foot from moving forward and backward, anteriorly or posteriorly with force when this is intact. Now, there's a few others that you can injure. You have your CFL or calcaneofibular ligament, and then you'll have some posterior ligaments as well. The other one that we're really worried about in, in especially in athletes is kind of a high ankle sprain or a sprain kind of up around here. So you'll have something called your anterior tibiofibular ligament, and then you have something called your syndesmosis or interosseous ligament. And essentially if someone says they have a high ankle sprain, they have a sprain up here. Now high ankle sprains are worse than low ankle sprains, which are sprains down here because they actually result in instability of this joint line here. And if you're suspecting a high ankle sprain, you actually have to put patients in a walking boot for a subsequent amount of time to allow this to heal. And if it's still not super kind of steady and stable, they may have to go to orthopedic surgery to discuss potential surgical indications. Whereas if you have a low ankle sprain, usually we say rest, ice, compress, elevate, even though some research is kind of debunking that, treat it conservatively, you know, go to physiotherapy, start on a rehab program and you're good to go in most cases. Now in Venus's case, I'm suspecting she's got a low ankle injury or a low ankle sprain just with the way she inverted her ankle. To get a high ankle injury, you actually need to externally rotate the ankle and point it up. So instead of pointing down, the force is pointed up, externally rotated, and that's how it transmits the force up here. So the mechanism that she really sustained isn't really leading towards an ankle injury like that. So this is just a sample of a few of her plays when she came back here. You're gonna see that you know, reports say that her, her serve went from approximately 100 miles per hour to 65. And you'll see a serve that I'm gonna show you right around here. And you're gonna see that she doesn't like to serve with excessive force. And the reason why is she can't trust this right ankle to land on. So if she goes up for a, a essentially a serve and comes down, 
She just can't, with an or an unstable right ankle, truly trust it. The other thing that Arani was doing quite a lot was she was hitting kind of low volleys to the net. And essentially, they thought that was unsportsmanlike behavior. But honestly, she was doing her job. She was playing the game and she was trying to win, which she did. But Venus just could not run for these. So you could see in between each play that she was limping and quite in quite a lot of discomfort. So you'll see here even, she just doesn't have the spring in her step right now. And most, most of you tennis fans as well will realize she's not, you know, that drive down the line. Essentially, she wasn't able to, to get just because she's quite uncomfortable. Now, as you can see, this is how her ankle was taped. Now, typically, if you're worried about an ankle sprain, I mean, you can tape it in the midst of... <laughs> of a match and continue to play. In Venus's case, she is a beast and she was able to do so. Many athletes, though, if they, if they roll their ankle and, and they're not as tough as her, will come off the field. And usually we evaluate kind of a few things. So when it comes to getting an ankle x-ray, we do have a scoring system for that. It's actually a Canadian scoring system developed in Ottawa that's pretty much used globally. And it lets me know on the sidelines whether or not I need to get an x-ray to rule out a fracture. Essentially, if she's got an ankle injury or ankle pain, we want to know whether or not she's been immediately unable to weight bear. So in her case, she can weight bear. She's running still, so I'm not worried about that. And then we also feel the back ends of both of her ankle bones on both the lateral side and the medial side. And if she's tender there, that, that's definitely an indication for x-ray. Now, kind of given the fact that she was still running on it, I can't really say for sure whether or not she was tender along these areas because I wasn't the doctor on the field examining her. But if she was, she would likely need an x-ray just to rule it a fracture in her fibula or tibia. Now, in terms of taping these ankles, there's a variety of ways of taping them. You can see here that Venus has come back with circumferential tape. I'm gonna put a picture up to my left-hand side and I'll just show you an example of how they tape these ankles. You essentially will tape a U underneath the ankle and then stabilize this actual joint while you're playing activity to kind of avoid excessive inversion, eversion, and then dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, so up and down. It really just helps with the stabilization. To be honest, I was quite astounded with how well she was still able to play afterwards. Venus Williams is notorious for fighting through insane amount of injuries and illnesses. For example, she's got Sjogren's disease and is still a high level athlete. Hopefully this is just a very simple lateral ankle sprain, which can heal with you know, rest, ice compression, elevation, physiotherapy, and strengthening exercises. And she should be good to come back to play again. At this point in time, I'm gonna defer talking about her knee injury. It appeared that she had a knee injury of some sort beforehand because it was mildly taped, although she was still able to conduct herself not too badly on the court. To be honest, with this mechanism, whether or not she just aggravated an old knee injury may very well have been a case. I will put up a link to a video regarding some knee injuries that I've done in the past, so you can look at the anatomy and things I would consider in this case. But for now, Venus Williams has astonished us with her ability to play through injuries and just kind of make that statement that she never gives up. Now, if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. For now, that's all.